Well, hello again. This is Diamond from Diamond Shine Soap. Guys, I wanted to show you how I make the crumble because I'm about to make a few candles with crumble. And I figured that, hey, let's just make a separate video so you guys could be able to access it a little bit quicker without going through all the flack. <laughs> if you love these videos, click the like button, hit the subscribe button. You do not want to miss all the free information that I give you guys on this channel. So in order to make good crumble, what you need is paraffin wax. You need color. Uh, you can use dye blocks or you can use candle dye and uh, pour the cap paraffin, you know, as usual, just like you melting down a regular batch and, you know, let it cool down. And the thing about paraffin is it cool and it turns crumbly as it cool because typically it's a hard wax anyway. So I'm going to move this one out of the way because this one is a little bit more hot. I had this one, you know, I just actually poured it a few minutes ago and this one I had poured for about... I say about five minutes, ten minutes. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking it from along the walls because that's what you want to do. You want to start just taking it because it's going to uh, <coughs> solidify against the walls of your container pretty quick because it's cool. So it's just, you know, that's just the way it goes. So you just kind of take it and I got some on the bottom. I have to scrape up. It's all in the corners. Had I been just going and moving this around the whole time, it wouldn't be like this. But since I didn't, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and start mixing it. Now, you can use a spoon, you can use a spatula, whatever works a little bit easier for you. But for me, I want to be able to scrape the walls, so I just wanted to use like a metal spoon. Okay, so what you want to do is go ahead and just keep, you know, just keep, uh, make sure you get you some parchment paper because this can get pretty messy. So keep going around and just scraping it and you want to make it like crumble kind of crunching it up as you go this is the easy way that i make crumble yes you do scent your crumble me i use like a strawberry marshmallow cream fragrance that i use from uh just scent and that for me it gives me like more of a um mapley like a mapley strawberry I didn't want it smelling straight like strawberry. And then this one I just used straight strawberry. So I wanted it to be like a maple strawberry and a strawberry at the same time. The reason why I told you guys to use the parchment paper is because you do, if you do spill, you can just, just go ahead and just pick it up just like that. So it makes it easier to clean as well. So just keep mixing it around. And the more you do it, the more you'll begin to see that it turns into crumble. It sets up just like crumble. So this is my way of doing it. Now, when I'm in a rush and I don't feel like doing all of this, I normally go to Sabrina. Sabrina makes my crumble for me. But you guys have been stealing my Sabrina from me. And, you know, I'm not going to sound mad at y'all because y'all, you know, y'all y'all showing her love and, 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 oh, man, so much support. It's awesome. But y'all been stealing my Sabrina from me. That's my Sabrina. And I would like to have her back. So... You know, guys, when you want to return my Sabrina, let me know. Some of you new people to the channel wondering, who is Sabrina? Sabrina is the lady in my group who makes crumble. She makes uh, Schaefer B. She makes crumble. She makes embeds, like strawberry embeds, uh, pineapple, all different kinds of embeds. I have some right here. Like, these are her little pineapples that I always have. She's sitting or whatever. Um all kinds of berries so she makes my life a whole lot more easier so it's a new person who don't know how to mix colors and just want to go ahead and try out some things she sells pie kits that's already equipped the only thing you have to do is get your wax and your fragrance and decorate and have a good time so as you can see this is really setting up just like some beautiful crumble the color is perfect I use like a honey brown color and I just kept dipping it just to make sure that, you know, the color would be to my satisfaction. I have to like it. So kept dipping it, kept dipping it. But don't just walk away and leave it, guys, because it's easy to just be like, oh, I'm going to let it just sit for a while and leave it. The more you mess around with it and kind of chop on it like, and get it looking like oatmeal, the better you will be. Don't just walk away because then you got yourself a whole block. And then you sitting there chipping and chopping at a block. Okay guys, so I poured it out of the container. And 
Right now I'm just getting those little big lumps out. It's better to do it when it's still a little bit, like this is not all the way cold yet, so, but it's better to do it when it's a little bit warm because it's easier to get those lumps out, those big giant lumps. Because if you wait till it's all the way cold, then it's just going, the lumps just going to bounce all around. Like you're going to be trying to press it and it's just going to be going all around. So it's better to do it now. And because this is strawberry, I got the strawberry right here on the other side. I'm about to pour that in. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it and what I use to store my crumble. So, I mean, sometimes I just leave it sitting on the tray because I got like a big old uh, restaurant rack where I have like trays and this is where I get all these metal trays from from that particular rack but this is the strawberry so I'm just going to take the strawberry and just get it out of this container and like I said it's good to do it while it's still a little warm because you don't want it to be like cold and rock hard and this right here once they get rock hard that's going to be a challenge but right now you still have the ability to make it the way you want it to be so as you can see it's easy to maintain I mean easy to manage when it look like this I don't want to completely mix it together because I may need the brown crumble for something it, it, it could be something as small as a key lime pie so but when I do use it I'm gonna pick up some from here and some from there and kind of sprinkle it together because I'm about to make a uh, strawberry shortcake pan video but as you can see this strawberry crumble is beautiful I mean I love it and it's all you really have to do I just showed you guys exactly what to do me I'm not even gonna lie to you I don't have time for this kind of stuff so I, I buy my stuff from Sabrina and keep it moving but I realized that it's such short notice that I'm doing this video and I don't I like to give her time I don't like to be rude when you're dealing with people and you're trying to rush them to do things. So I like to give her time. So what I did was I just pretty much put in the order and I just give her time to make it. And that's, you know, I give her like a good two, three weeks or whatever. That's how I normally do it with her. Just put in the order and just give her some time. So, um, this is good. I like it. I just don't want real big pieces. So that's why I'm just keep going in there and that's what you have to do you just got to keep going in there and just kind of chipping it off and um, mashing it up you can use a soap cutter that's another thing that I do it just it kind of gives you that strength back to your hand because after you finish doing this it feel like you done slap five people because it your hand be hurting so it's just better to use a soap cutter a soap cutter gets straight to the point I don't have my soap cutter next to me right now because I would just show you guys. But go to Michael's or Joanne's and get a soap cutter and it would make it just so much simpler. So guys, this is how I wanted it to look. I wanted little crumble. I don't like, I wanted it to be like small, like really, really small, like crumb. And the more you crunch on it, the more you mash on it, the more it looks like crumbs.